You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Here is a complete video of a maker set from start to finish. If you want to skip ahead to specific points in the video, then check the description below for skip times. Enjoy! Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. We're on another crazy kit in our crazy series. And this is a gummy kit, and it looks uh, very similar to the bug kit in regards to what we get to do. There's four different little scenes that you get, so I'm not sure which one we're going to get. And then it looks like a lion, a panda, panda, and or a giraffe. Now, I don't know what molds I have in here, so I won't know exactly which ones I'm going to do. And then here is the back side where you put the, it looks like they have a red powder, which you put there, the two little small ones in there, and then an orange powder in the middle. And then you use your little fork to straighten it out. Then you mix in your water solution there. And then you take your little uh, syringe type uh, plunger there and you pour the water into each section. You like squeeze it in, squeeze bottle, let's call it a squeezer. Hey, squeezer. And then you take them out and put them on your little display. And then here, like, here's what they show you. If you get a couple dry spots then, or spots that are missing, you can add powder to it. Look at that. So this one shows you what I see is like it's a little low on the powder. You can add the powder and then spray a little, uh, spritz a little water on there to fix it. And then here, if you get a dry spot, it looks like uh, you just add a little extra water and it makes it uh, return to gummy. Now, I did that in the bug one. And I don't remember that on the directions, but now I know that's how you do it. So let's uh, get this one out of the package, and we'll take a look at everything that's in it. All right, let me uh, try to do it so I don't destroy my package. Hold on, let me get a scissors here and cut it. I need the instructions, you know. Okay, so here is the orange, the red, our little mat, the solution, our squeezy, our squeezy bottle, and our fork, and then here is the animals now. Ooh, so it's different than what I see. I have an elephant, an alligator, a kangaroo, a panda. Uh-oh, see, I'm going to get this one. I don't know what this one is, so I'll maybe see if I can, uh, well, what I'd like to do is just reorganize everything here, get my water, come back, and we'll get started. All right, here we go. This is everything that comes with the kit. I added the water in the bowl here so I can actually fill up this little section here. Here's my two colors, the activator, the little uh, placemat, which is a zoo scene, so I didn't realize that when I first looked at it. It's part of a zoo. And then mine has an elephant, and look at that. I think this is the baby kangaroo. See that? And that sits on top of mom. So I'm going to do those in two different colors. So there's really no color designation. I can do pretty much what I want. So I'm going to get my package going here. And the last time I did this, I actually even took a paintbrush, and I cleaned off all the powder. I don't think I'm going to do that this time. I'm just going to go for it and, uh, you know, have fun doing it. So I just cut off a little piece on the end, and now I just need to make sure it's going to come out. And I need to pour that into each compartment here. Let me change my angle here. And let's just see. Let me do my panda first. And then they, what they want you to do is to take your fork here. My lighting just changed a little there. Let me zoom out a little. Change the angle to this. Is take your little fork and use it to push around the powder mix. So this will be a good time to kind of move it into different sections. Let me put some more in there. And what I'll probably do is the baby panda, not the baby panda, the baby kangaroo in this color. Okay. Here we 
no. I might just put a little bit more in that one. All right. I like that. I'm going to use this side. It's like a flat spatula. Okay. And then I think I'm going to do the elephant while I'm here. I'm going to move everything to this side. Now let's see if I leave that just like that. If we can get a different color ear. I'm not sure. It looks like a good spot. And I'm going to use a bunch of this now over the top. It takes a lot of powder. Okay. It might be easier just to pour it in like the bigger section like this and then move it around if you do this kit. I think I need a little bit more in here. How's that? All right, let's get Mama Kangaroo in this color now. Ooh, I think that's a nice fill. tail. How's that? And then the last one, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix up, try to put some on one half. Feels like this one is almost out. I do have a bunch of this one left. Okay. Yeah, last time I came in with a paintbrush, remember? And I cleaned up all around the edges to make it look just so you could see you know, what it takes to really make it look like that in a video. What do you think? You think we're good there? I think our panda, if I can get a little bit of this out, is a little short right here. There, I think I've gotten pretty good there. Alright, so next is mixing your water, let me turn it this way, with the other solution. And you see there's a first level there, so that's what you're going to fill to. Now a lot of people ask, where do we get our kits? That's a big question. Where do you get them? Well, we've gotten them on eBay. There's people that'll sell 15 to 30. 30 kits in one big lot. And the price comes down to maybe 
around three to four dollars per kit when you buy it in a lot like that. But you have to, you know, if you're getting 20 kits, it's eighty dollars probably for all of them. But and a lot of times shipping is free, or they just charge a little bit of shipping. So here we go. And then we also have a store by us called Mitsua, and Mitsua has some kits, not a lot. I don't, I don't think I've seen this particular kit there. Okay, so now we're making sure all of our powder is in there. I think last time too I tried to show you the underside. And I just couldn't think of a good way to do it unless I had a glass table. You want to mix this real good. I think it'll almost like last time it almost turned clear again when it was fully mixed. But we'll see on this one. I can see from this angle now that my elephant did need a little bit more from this side. Maybe what I can do is I can push a little bit over. good. Let's see if I can... There we go. Okay. So let's fill our elephant. Here, let me give you a little closer shot here. If you don't get enough in there, you can correct it later, and you'll know when you take the gummy out. There's my double color one, remember that? Okay. And you know, once it's like this, you can't, after it sits a little bit, you can't add water to the top. It will not soak to the bottom. So that's why you got to correct it later. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Let me just see now if I can see from underneath here. Let me change an angle here. Can you see underneath there? You see my color change on the elephant? All right, thought maybe I can get you a little bit lower in there, but as it looks like now, they look pretty good from the bottom. So I'm going to let these sit for just a little bit, and when I come back, I will take them out and we'll put them on our little zoom mat. All right, here we go. I get to take them out now. So I'm going to start with my panda, and basically you just, they show you just taking your fork and getting it started. And once you get it started, it should come out eventually. You just work it through. And once you get it like that, then you can just take them out. And if you see a little spot, see like that little spot there? Then take your water. And just put a little on there. There, see? I'm going to put them on the tray for now so I can get them all on there and take a look at them. And I noticed my elephant, uh, my elephant looked pretty good. My kangaroo, my mama kangaroo has some dry spots, which I could see, you could see by lifting it. I'm not sure about my elephant though. Oh, so there's my pink here elephant. Looks like a little spot there. Okay. 
this guy, my dual tone here. I noticed I was a little short on his tail. Uh, two colors and now mama and baby kangaroo let's get her out first it's like finding the right way to do it so that you don't destroy your gummy let me see if I use this side here There's the dry spot, so I gotta be careful there. Okay, I think we got it this time. See how it just peels away? There we go. See how dry she is there? But that's okay because I'm going to put my little baby kangaroo on her. So that one could have used more water in the middle. And her eyes, see? That fixes it real quick. Here we go, last one. There's our baby. Ooh, baby has a little spot on the eye. Tiny, tiny spot here and here. And I want to bring these in. Okay. So let me get them in my little scene here, how I want to put them out. So what do you think? Which enclosure for which? This is almost like a desert sandy scene. This one kind of looks like water. So which one? We'll put him in the water. I think him or the elephant would probably want to hang out by the water and the rocks. But either way. And then we'll put our panda up here in the grassy area with the little bushes and trees. And then kangaroo. We'll put kangaroo in the desert. Kind of like the elephant. Looks like elephant's not going to fit. Wonder why, Mr. Elephant. So how's that look? But I'll show you the elephant. Yeah, maybe we'll just put the elephant outside the park. Okay. I think they came out pretty good. What do you think? And I get to eat something, and I'm not sure what I want to eat. I have to eat this guy over here. That's why I could taste both colors at once. I'm going to bite off the front. Hmm, what is that? Did they show it? it's like grape? Yeah, see grape, grapes and lemon. Let me eat the lemon. Ooh, that's good. Now, when I say that's good, it's good for what it is. Is it the same as like a pre-made retail gummy? No. It's not like a gummy you can buy that's already pre-made and packaged. But for taking the time to make it and creating, I like the taste of it. So there you go. If you want to see more of these types of kits, kits I said kicks. Hey, that makes sense. You know, kangaroo kicks. Then uh, look in the description for a playlist, or you could also just search our channel. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching, and always remember if you see a lucky penny, pick it up. I wanted to put in this little bonus video because I wanted to let you know that everything that I don't eat on these kits or that doesn't get eaten, I save. 
And if you look, this was the one of the bugs from the first kit, and it hardens up really nice. Now the little black spots you see on there, that's not mold or anything. That was the black gummy, because this kit had black and green. And here was one of the other ones. So now they're almost like a hard candy. Of course, I'm not going to eat them, but I just wanted to show you. Because what I've been doing is saving the leftovers from these kits. And I just like let them sit out till they get nice and hard and almost preserved or petrified. So when these are done, I'm going to let these sit. Okay. And then maybe in the next video, bring back a bunch of the stuff that I've done in the past that's all hardened now, and it looks pretty cool. So uh, if you want to see all that stuff, you know, leave a comment below, um, and then I'll bring it back at some point in another video. And thanks for watching. Later!